One UI 2.0 atop Android 10 is now steadily rolling out to Galaxy devices, and while it doesn't change a ton, it adds some neat new inclusions, which is why we wanted to share some of our favourite new additions. Thanks for watching 95 Google on YouTube. Be sure to thumbs up, hit subscribe, and then enable notifications with the bell icon so that you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Samsung isn't the first to add a native screen recorder, but One UI 2.0 now has a solid baked in option that is about as good as most third party options out there. It's great to be able to start recording your display without needing to install anything extra, while the ability to adjust resolution and even select audio recording is a neat touch that we're surprised hasn't come to older Galaxy devices before. Android 10's new navigation gestures are now available in One UI 2.0, but in typical Samsung fashion, you can not only use the new method, but also Samsung's old gestures, as well as on-screen button controls if you don't like gestures at all. As part of this change, Samsung has also made it easier to activate the one-handed mode if you do use the new Android 10 gestures. To activate, simply swipe down on the gesture bar to instantly get one-handed access. You will need to enable this in settings first though. Another feature that isn't exactly new, but has been tweaked now that native dark modes are available within Android 10, far more apps now work within the dark mode toggle as developers add the eye saving design to their applications. There's also the killer ability to schedule dark mode based upon your own schedule or on local sunset and sunrise times, something that is still missing on dark mode from Pixel devices right now. The Samsung camera UI has been stripped back with all of the extra camera stills and video modes now being moved to a more folder within the carousel of modes. However, you can now drag and drop these onto that carousel, which means you can basically tailor the camera UI to what you use regularly and want access to quickly. Alongside these UI tweaks are also some improvements to the pro mode and tweaks to the night mode added earlier this year, allowing you to adjust the ISO settings slightly higher and increase shutter opening times of up to 30 seconds. Samsung has given the device care section a fresh lick of paint and some further options, including more in-depth battery usage information, better at-a-glance device health and storage info, and now you can tweak things like power share settings so that your phone will stop sharing a charge when it reaches a device limit. Great at stopping your phone from killing itself when topping up your accessories, headphones and extras. While Apple started the trend with the iPhone 11 in typical Samsung fashion, they don't want to be left out, as now slow motion selfies are now possible on the Note 10 and Galaxy S10. There's no word on whether slow motion selfies though will make it to older Galaxy devices. As it stands, you'll be able to use it on the most recent flagship 2019 devices. You may already back up your photos and videos using Google Photos, but now the Samsung Gallery app has been updated to include the previously announced OneDrive integration, and it works in very much the same way. All of your photos and video will automatically get backed up to the cloud, so that should something happen to your phone, you shouldn't lose your precious memories. So those are some of our favorite new features as part of the One UI 2.0 update for Samsung Galaxy devices, and kudos to Samsung for really improving their update process over the past year or so, and long may it continue. Of course, there are some other features, including enhanced edge lighting improvements, tweak notification shade toggles, and more on top that didn't quite make our list, but might make yours. That said, if you have updated to Android 10 on your Galaxy device, let us know down there in the comment section below your own favorite new features. But until next time, this is Damon with 9to5Google. Thanks again for watching, and I will speak to you later.